from 1980 comes uh, The Hairs, a movie that I knew absolutely nothing about until I was encouraged to pick it up during the Vinegar Syndrome sale and when I was, well, you know, somewhat eager to put on. I liked the poster art. <laughs> Never judge a film by its cover, but I did this time around. I honestly thought I was going to get something akin to um, the ambulance. You know, a, a kind of malevolent vehicle hunting and chasing people down, which to a certain extent you do get. Our main character here, Jane, has uh, had some previous trauma. Uh, she is moving to get away from uh, life a little bit, moving to a house that she has been left in a role by her uh, grandmother, I believe, maybe her mother, I can't remember. Wasn't that important. She's been left a house. She's going there to rest and recuperate. When she gets there, the local lawyer, uh, Walter, played by Joseph Cotton, just is uh, annoyed that she's there. He feels that even though He's not related to the woman that died, that he should have been left the house just because. And he is really kind of antagonistic towards this character. Your mother hardly ever set foot in here. Really ought to be mine. What do you mean? Well, your mother promised it to me. Everybody in the town seems to be very wary of her because they know which house she is staying in and they fear that house for some reason or other. I'm sure we'll discover why throughout the movie, and we do. It is a kind of possession, haunted house, demonic car type of movie. All of that sounds wonderful put together. It's going to be crazy, bombastic, in your face. Not quite, it's rather middling. Where? The old Martin place. I'm Jane Hardy. My Aunt Rebecca used to live there. We don't deliver that far. It doesn't really enamour itself too much. It kind of goes the a familiar route that you're expecting it to go. It's minimum characters. Um, there is a, a case of our main character describing discovering more about her dead relative by reading her diary, by finding out about her loves, her passions, what she enjoyed most about life and the thing that led to her death and how it's starting to parallel itself in her life. He wants me to join him in a pact with Satan. Thankfully, it's a rather quick movie. You know, just over an hour and a half uh, with the credits taken off. It uh, has some good imagery, particularly when it's uh, certain nightmare sequences that happen throughout the film that I really did quite enjoy a lot of the time. Our main performance is fun. I liked the addition of the young teenager who wants to help Jane out in her house, kind of handyman type of thing, but he has got a deep love for her. Or, well... They say love, lust for her, and he kind of reiterates his stories to his friends, embellishing facts. I say embellishing, what I mean is he basically lies, but it's kind of fun to see uh, that kind of aspect of him as a character. Well, you know, we made out. Bullshit! Did she, uh, she have her clothes off? Well, kind of. Other than that, it's one of those kind of forgettable movies. It's one that I would go back and watch again and suddenly half an hour in go, oh, I, I remember this one. Yes, uh, I'll just keep watching it and then probably forget about it again. The performances are fine. It looks fine. It's got some uh, scares, but they're, they're never that impassioned. It doesn't feel that atmospheric. It's just fine. It's perfunctory. Almost, I wanted to like the hearse more than I did. I don't know if it was preconceptions by expecting a different movie. What I got was way different than what I expected, but it was fine. <laughs> Almost kind of damning to say that. Uh, but yeah, there we have it, the hearse. I would love to know your thoughts on this film so we've got the comment box below this video let me know your thoughts on the movie did you love it hate it have uh, no feelings towards it whatsoever let me know and while you're there hit that like button because that really helps the channel there's more videos up here if you want to see more of my stuff and of course within the description box is a link to my membership program or the patreon program where you can really help support the channel and i would really appreciate that thank you for watching and see you next time
on my default.